In France that winter, the laws of fashion rule, and they decree that every gentleman must have a beaver hat. The finest hats cost four times what one of Champlain's men earns in a year. Philip Stubbs watches as the trend reaches England. Every man does wear of these hats, for he is of no account or estimation among men if he have not a hat. As the fashions are rare and strange, so is the stuff from which their hats are made. The most curious are those made of a certain kind of fine hair. These they call beavers.